Malawi is an orthopedic hospital, which means that we treat primarily um, bones. And we have over 45 beds for kids, as well as a private wing that helps bring in funds. Some of the more common disabilities that we treat are knock knee, bow leg, club foot, fused fingers, burn contractures, um, and osteomyelitis, which is infected bones. And our kids will be with us anywhere from one week for something really simple like knock knee um, to some of the real months for something like osteomyelitis. And of the 30 or so kids in the hospital at any one time, about five or so will be published to the website and get daily updates. Um, and the rest of the kids are funded through that, um, as well as through pro private donors will get their basic profiles. My name is Avanel. Um, I'm originally from the United States, and I am here in Malawi working for a year as the Cure Kids Coordinator. Um, so basically what I do is I write updates and take photos, um, kind of do the social media for the website um, on the kids that are currently being sponsored here at the hospital. And I'm kind of a liaison between the kids and the people in the United States or other donors who want to support our kids to get them surgery. And I work with Tandy, who is a native Malawian. Okay, my name is Tandy. I, my main job is writing the stories, the historical medical stories for all the kids in the hospital and translating Avenel around the world and other doctors, nurses, doing the updates, getting get well messages to uh, our cure kids and saving God, <laughs> having fun, smile to the kid. <laughs> Kids come from all over Malawi from mobile outreach clinics. We send out a team of doctors uh, to identify patients who might need surgery. Um, and we also have club, club foot clinics uh, to treat babies who have club foot. Um, we can do that with just casting when they're really young. Um, and the treatment is completely free for the kids uh, here at the hospital and they are all fed three meals a day. Many of the kids come from villages and there's a lot of stigma attached to their disabilities. Um, many of them may not have seen kids who are like them before, so it's really nice that in the hospital um, they get to see other kids who have disabilities like them and they make really fast friends and um, a lot of the kids are so happy and grateful despite their disabilities. Um, they're some of the most charming kids I've met and I feel really honored to work with them and help them um, and to work with people like you who are willing to support them and pray for them, so thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you.